What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. <clears throat> Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my gods. All right, babies. Um, this is going to be for Wednesday to Thursday. We're going to find out what's going down in the atmosphere. And then I'm going to be doing my elemental read at the very end of the video. I will be moving into December as well with the rest of the zodiac signs and what's to come. So stay tuned for that shit. And while you're here, make sure you hit that motherfucking like button, baby. Okay. All right. So, I didn't have uh, very many clairaudient clair messages that were coming to me. I was just getting go with the flow, okay, and just do whatever. So, I'm going to get one of my musical cards to get the overall energies and then we're going to get an oracle card and see what tarot has to say so here we go all right i think i got it baby we got video phone by beyonce and in those jeans with genuine uh oh baby Somebody trying to get in them booty jeans. They trying to get in that booty. And you also have Moon and Back by Savage Garden. Now, this is one of my favorite songs. I don't give a damn where you from, baby. Savage Garden is shit, okay? But I put video phone for, um, on some of these cards, I had my own little thing going because these are the phone, these are the uh, memories that I have when it comes down to all of these, uh, you know, songs and titles and things. So, somebody's going to be messaging you. This could be a video. Someone might be trying to show you their penis, their pussy, trying to show you their ass or something. They might be trying to show you something in the store. You never know, baby. I'm just saying, okay? I feel a lot of you guys might be receiving some sort of video, or this could be a message in this video with this video phone. Somebody might be trying to get in them draws, okay? And to the moon and back. Somebody is feeling very deeply. This could be about where they're going, where they're coming to. Okay. Um, this also is understanding the life lessons that you've been taught and learned to get through it all. Okay. So I do feel for a majority of you all, you might be having those flashbacks. You might be having um, deja vu. Um, but I feel with this moon and back, somebody is wanting to offer their love or they're willing to do things with major regard for everyone for themselves. But at the same time, they could be a troubled motherfucker, but they're still just trying to push the fuck through with what they got. Okay. So, um, let's see what the Oracle has to say. For the next couple of days, I'm going to get, um, what's this shit called? Wisdom Oracle. <laughs> yeah, I'll be smoking so much dope, I don't be remember, but I do remember. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Give it to me for the next two days, next couple of days that my subscribers will be encountering. You know, it's really weird as a tarot reader, like some of these things. They'll happen before I talk about them. And then I'll talk about them the day before. And then people will be like, yeah, this shit, such and such happened to me. I'm getting that some of you guys are definitely encountering some sort of ESP. Or this could be telepathic 
type of messages. It could be downloads from spirit. You have poised. Ow. So doing things with grace and being very harmonious in your own body. I feel um, a lot of you guys have this energy that's very delicate, okay, but also knowing when to step. You have to be fair here. So there is this fairness, this balance that needs to come out or will be coming out in the next few days. I'm also getting mending here. And now for some of you guys, this could be time for a regeneration or time to let something go. But I feel you're mending a heart. Someone could be trying to make up for a situation. Um, this definitely could be a message or some sort of text message that's coming to you. But someone's trying to repair what they fucked up. Okay, because motherfuckers be doing fucked up ass shit. And they have to co-create in this motherfucker. So like I said, um, some of you guys could be wanting to make things mend and blend okay you got the leopard here and an owl so somebody could be very smart or somebody could be just a fucking go-getter with this leopard energy but i pick up that you know somebody is more full of wisdom they fall on these lines or categories of being able to um, achieve whatever they want whether or not they're having to co-create with something in a different world yeah you also got deep knowing like i said um there's a lot of um, things that could have been uncovered or weren't covered that you might be going through. I need to give me some uh, some sort of lip gloss or something, honey. I'm getting that some of you guys, um, there's a lot of knowledge that you've opened yourself up to seeing and this knowledge, these downloads, this deja vu, this ESP, whatever you want to call it, okay? But, but spirit is telling you that you're going to be in the deep knowing coming up as you co-create or as you try to understand each other and, you know, not have that resistance between you and your partnerships or this could be finances as well too, all right? Don't forget it, back. So uh, deep knowing, also poised energy. So some of you guys have to do things with grace, being very delicate, uh, with other people with their interactions certain people could be very sensitive as well and you have to kind of step on eggshells a little bit because this bitch is stepping okay she this bitch got her ballerina shoes on okay so you might have to do things in uh with time as time goes all right so coming up there's some sort of download or an, a real understanding that you'll be seeing from spirit Let's see what the cards have to say. I have the will of the year here. These have been my go-to so far. And we about to use them today, baby. Okay? All right. Let's see what's up. I'm going to split the deck. I guess somebody could be showing their ass as well, too, with this video phone. Uh, this might be someone who's wanting to, like see your reality see what's going on you know certain people be listening for those cues very first card out is the ten of pentacle or ten of cups that flipped out but i'm gonna keep on going so some of you guys are definitely happy in your home okay in your family unit there's no problems no issues the issues you do have you know how to resolve them let's see what's up All right, Ace of Pentacles coming out. So somebody's got an offer, a money offer, an advance. Speak ancestors, okay. <laughs> I feel like with this Ace of um, Pentacles, there's definitely um, I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, this is opportunity, okay? When you have opportunity in your hand, you know what to do with it. You know how to go about it. You know how to receive it. You know how to give it in. You know how to give it back. Um, hold on. Let me make this. Somebody just text me.
Bom. Alright, so this is an offer. Take it or leave it, baby. I feel some of you guys have financial opportunities that are coming up. Now, this could be that you guys have been waiting on jobs, processing paperwork, waiting for new opportunities to come to you to make new dividends. Um, I'm getting that there's a major, major hustle that some of you all need to rise the fuck up. Okay, because this motherfucker, she is sitting down, crossing her legs. I feel some of you guys have an opportunity that's coming to you. Now, also at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands here. So, this is a gift. This is a new ability. Um, I feel some of you guys are understanding your points of reference in this lifetime. Ace of Wands here is your passion, so this could be anything. I'm seeing whatever you're working towards with this Nine of Pentacles. This could be actual physical work. I'm seeing somebody's looking at some sort of iron, or they could be looking up gold or minerals or mining or fires, things of that nature. You also could be thinking about ranches. I'm getting with that horse. I feel some of you guys have new opportunities of wanting to open yourself up to new lands, new um, housing. New structures around you. I know how I be feeling like shit. I want this shit to be brand spanking new. I don't want nobody. I don't want no contractor touching my toilet first. If I'm buying this motherfucker. I want to put my ass on my throne first. If I pay for that bitch. Okay. <laughs> so I do feel opportunity is coming towards you. You're definitely thinking about the structures that you're building up. This also could be a business, like I said, or starting something over, being able to revamp every motherfucking thing with this death energy here. Two of uh, swords. So this is whatever's crossing your mind, whatever is uh, stumbling you from being able to move the fuck forward, walk ahead, okay? Walk away from old decisions and things that were keeping you uh, at a crossroads. I feel you have new opportunity and you're going to have to take it. Take advantage of that shit, okay? While you hurt. I tell people every single day, while you're living, take advantage of that shit. Because as you're living, you're gaining wrinkles. You should be gaining money, okay? You also should be gaining yourself a better chance as you're getting into the, as you step in more and more into the grave with this death energy here. Okay, some of you guys could be thinking about death and life after death. I feel you're, you're really getting ready to understand each step that you take. Each process, each pen, each letter, each paperwork, each person, each conversation, it has a process. It has a reason. I feel some of you guys are definitely starting over Okay, with this death energy here. It's definitely sticking out a lot of major arcanas today up in this motherfucker. All right. Yeah, seven of cups, five of swords. Some of you guys are really ready to take some chances here. judgment energy i feel you're putting a lot of placement of criticism between how you're going to get things started or things in the past how they've hurt you and how you need to pick back up from there so i feel a lot of you guys have to motivate your motherfucking selves you know every single day when you get in the shower when you get out the shower when you're brushing your teeth when you're at work when you're driving to the motherfucker when you're getting lunch when you're paying for the shit when you can't pay for the shit i feel a lot of you guys are thinking about those in-betweens and starting the fuck over. There's nothing wrong with starting over. There's nothing wrong with revamping yourself. You can change at any moment. People gonna have to get with the motherfucking program. It could be for the better or for the worse. But I feel like with this death energy here, some of you guys are definitely thinking about things that end. Okay, ten of swords here in reverse also with that death energy there could be some actual deaths that some of you guys might be going through now i know for me death has taken it's taken me to revamp my entire life my children's life what was of value to me what was of worth to me it's taken death it's it's taken uh every fiber and everything in my being to have to start over to go through those emotions of sadness 
but then coming to an understanding. Okay, Ten of Pentacle energy here in this bitch. So you got two tens, two ace, two aces. Give me just a second. Yes, babe. What's up? Oh, okay. Huh? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to wait till you get here, though. Okay, well, I'm on video right now, and you on video, too. Ow. Okay. So some of you guys could be dealing with Scorpios as well. I'm also getting Virgo, Torn, Capricorn. Now, some of you guys uh, might be thinking about starting a business over or starting something over. This could be something that's happening online as well, too. If you're in a situation where you have to deal with an ending, okay, with this death energy here, the Ten of Pentacles is here as well. The Ten of Swords indicates if you have revamped your life, friends, family, finances, jobs, okay, everything around you that wasn't serving a purpose, it was for a reason. So I'm getting that for a lot of you guys. You're going to be obtaining that reason very, very soon. There's a reason why you go through those life process and purposes. Um, and I feel a lot of you guys are going through that, truly. Now, there's going to be some new beginnings here with that Ace of Wands. You also have the, Hera, uh, the Hierophant energy here. Emperor, Ten of Cups, and the Chariot sliding out in this bitch is the Ace, the Six of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Look at this motherfucker. All right, so I see major, major success. This could be something that's taking place online. Like I said, some of you guys might have businesses. You might be thinking about websites or building websites for some of you guys. This might be just partnerships all together. I feel there's like this whole collective energy of a lot of new beginnings. A lot of things that's crowning you, ideas that are being manifested here that people are giving you your roses while you hear your congratulations, your thank you, your accolades, okay? Hierophant energy here means some of you guys could be going viral as well too, okay? Or some of you guys definitely are getting ready to take off with my Hierophant card. This could be an official building or like I said, something that might be taking place online. You also have the uh, high priestess here. So... Like I said, your intuition, those downloads, that's ESP and shit like that is going to be kicking the fuck in. You're going to be kicking shit like motherfucking Bruce Lee before it even happens. You already know what punches and shit you need to make and what, uh, how you need to execute your style, okay? So I do get that for a lot of you guys. You're going to be sassing this motherfucker like a motherfucker, okay? But I do feel like there's a lot of importance that's being put towards things from your past. This could be abandonment as well or just holding on to things from the past that have kept you heartbroken. A lot of you guys are moving fucking forward with that shit. You're coming to an understanding. I feel like a Leo Sagittarius Aries could be coming your way as well too. Someone could be coming with the truth, with the seven of swords and also with the knight of cups here. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio is coming your way, all right? Now dig this. I feel this person is coming back with some sort of apology, okay, or a letter. This could be something about a child as well, too. But I'm getting with the tower in the world. There's definitely some changes that are getting ready to shake up now. This bitch got different colors of the wind and the rainbow in this motherfucker. And I feel there's a, a major blend that's mixing together with this world energy here. But this is also accomplishments, magician energy. So things are definitely going to be going into your power as they're well thought out. And also thinking of other people's perceptions when I think of the magician energy here. I feel <clears throat> a lot of you guys definitely have moves that are being made under your will and your free choice. But a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female or male could be coming your way to make a decision. Like I said, somebody's trying to get online. There's a lot of things taking place on the internet, online, the World Wide Web, whatever you want to call it, baby. Let's get this elemental read popping in this motherfucker. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. Let's see what's going down. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, what do they need to know about? In the next couple of days, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, 
We have time and sit your ass down and laugh. Okay, so there's something you need to laugh about. Take your time. Money, sit your ass down. Quit standing up, pacing back and forth or trying to figure things out in your head. Just sit on down. Okay, you might need to smoke a little bit of dope as well too. Some of you guys might, there could be someone who's coming to a reality check in your overall energy or you're coming to a reality check altogether. But time is definitely going to be important as you're coming into this reality check. So sit your motherfucking ass down and make that motherfucking plan, the strategic plan that you need to. And get your ass alone in this motherfucker. Okay? I do see a lot of money coming forward as well. You got weed, sex, and drink. Told y'all. Somebody needs to sit their ass on down. I'm also getting somebody could be trying to put up a fight. Could be a narcissistic energy. But take your time and go to source. Okay? So, let's see what's up to my air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I get some of you guys could be crying or someone could be crying over you. Very first cards coming out is pop it and prove it. This could be somebody on the low that's crying. You also have somebody's daddy. So somebody's getting ready to have to prove it. Could be somebody's daddy or how somebody's acting with a fatherly type of behavior. Okay. But you have go here. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Go, stay, come or go. Somebody might be analyzing how someone is coming, staying or going. Okay. The long term of it all. You have dusty and my blank card. So somebody might be trying to figure out somebody's dusty ass daddy or somebody's dusty mama, whatever the case may be. You might be needing to sit your ass on down or they just need to prove it and take an end, take a bow. Okay, let their curtains close in this motherfucker. Yeah, you got to sit your ass down and shy and busy. So somebody might be acting busy or always acting shy. Stay fluid, air signs. Okay, because you definitely have some truth that's going to come out whether or not somebody's going to be determined to be in your past, future or your present. All right, you also have fix it here. So yeah, and information is coming to you. Somebody might be laughing things off or just being very, uh, like they just snarky about shit. Dusty shit, really. Let's see what's up to my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in this motherfucking next couple of days. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's the message that they need to know about and that they need to hear? We have reality check and narc. Narcissistic energies is all up in the reading and time. So somebody could be all about themselves or in time, you're going to see where the reality check is. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio definitely could have been dealing with a narcissistic energy. We also have busy here and somebody's mama. So it could be important with somebody's mama that you're dealing with. Somebody's acting very desperate or they could be pretending is what I'm getting with this desperate energy here. Okay, you might just have to laugh the motherfucker off. They could be very toxic. Now, there's something very important about a phone call or transportation that's coming up, whether this is plane, boat, car, uh, airplane, whatever. Okay, there's somebody who could be very narcissistic or be using some sort of transportation or needing some sort of transportation. Now, you do have the tower energy here and lay down. So, I just need to know when to lay the fuck down before you go all in. Okay, now you could be dealing with an X energy. You do have a lot of growth and determination that's coming up, water signs. So take your time. You've grown a lot, baby. Okay, can't nobody knock you off. So let's see what's up for my earth signs Capricorn, Virgo, and Taur. And what do they need to know about in the next few days? We have phone call and roll up. All right, roll up, baby. Roll that reefer. Inhale, exhale. Take it in, take it out, okay? And don't let nobody disturb your motherfucking peace, okay? You also have go and phone call here. So somebody could be on the go or somebody's getting ready to call your motherfucking ass or send you some sort of text message that you're going to have to figure out what you're getting ready to do next or which is your next move. I do have that someone could be acting busy here and fluid, so I get somebody's hiding their truth. Okay, it could be while you're sleeping or just all together. Um, somebody could be hiding some truth where you need to just stay in your own vibe. All right. Now we also, I just vibe. See, this could be your person as well too. Somebody could be acting shy, but they need to sit their motherfucking ass down. Because you got Dusty here as well. All right, it's too much Dusty shit going on, y'all. Straight like that. 
okay? You might have to co-create with these motherfuckers or whatever the case may be. Like I said, somebody is trying to reach out to you. There's definitely something telepathically in your dreams that's going to come out or a message that's going to come out. But somebody, I feel you're already in this knowing. Okay. All right, guys. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.